Hi, I'm Chris Anderson from Science Over Everything, and I'm in Banff National Park in Alberta, Canada. And I want to know, why are these mountain lakes so blue? Every summer, the glaciers in the mountains start to melt. That water dissolves minerals in the rock and washes them into the lake. Those minerals are fine particles and they're in suspension in the water. When the sunlight hits the water, the wavelengths scatter, leaving only the blue wavelengths for us to see. You can do an activity at home that will demonstrate how light scatters, just like the water in the mountain lakes. Get a clear plastic container and fill it full of water. Then get a flashlight and put it at the end. I'm using the flashlight on this cell phone, just don't use an LED light. Then, take some milk and put a few drops and give it a stir. Then, look through the plastic container at your flashlight. Even though the flashlight is white, the light will appear orange. So what's happening? Light travels as a wave, with different wavelengths corresponding with each color. White light is made up of all colors, and therefore made of all wavelengths. When the light from our flashlight hits the water, the suspended particles of milk scatter the light. The only wavelength that we can see is one for orange light. The same thing happens in the mountain lakes. When the light hits the water, the minerals suspended in it scatter the light. It also is why the sky is blue. When the light from the sun hits our atmosphere, the particles and gases scatter the light. We see the blue wavelength. But why does the setting sun look reddish orange? When the sun is on the horizon, its light takes a longer path through our atmosphere to get to our eyes than when it is directly overhead. By the time the light of the setting sun reaches your eyes, most of the colors of light with shorter wavelengths have been scattered out. Colors like violet, blue, and green. The only light that makes it through the atmosphere to your eyes is orange and red. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, check out our YouTube channel, Science Over Everything, and make sure you read our blog for any current events in science and how they might matter in your life. Make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Science Over ET. And if you get a chance, make sure you check out Canada's beautiful national parks.